Hello. Today is a very sad anniversary. It is uh, of the murder of a beautiful Irish girl in Tullamore, Aisling Murphy. Send my condolences to her family and friends and uh, children who she taught. Aisling Murphy would be alive today if it wasn't for EU open borders and unvetted immigration into Ireland. Uh, that Slovak Roma, the alleged murderer, is a Slovak Roma. The only reason he was allowed into Ireland is because of government policy. It's very clear that EU open borders of uncapped, unvetted immigration makes Ireland less safe, leads to more theft, more crime and more sexual assault. And if we look at other countries across Europe, be it Sweden, be it Italy, be it Germany, whatever, we can see that where there's been a large increase in unvetted immigration, there's also been a large increase in sexual assault and various crimes. Just over 10 years ago, uh, Sweden was one of the safest countries in Europe. And now Malmo, uh, in the southern part of Sweden, is the rape capital of Europe. Now, there's a relationship, a causal relationship between uh, unvetted immigration of young males into society, especially those of uh, an Islamic background, uh, those who believe in what, they, what we saw in Cologne number of years ago, uh, New Year's, uh, rape jihad. It's a way to humiliate the men and women of a country. And uh, anyway, it's part of their jihad is to make people submit to their culture. Many of those people coming to support those rallies were women, and especially young women with, uh, with prams and young children, because they know what the consequences of uncapped, unvetted immigration into Ireland is. It's a large increase in sexual assault. Now, between 2015 and 2019, in those four years, there was a 55% increase in reported sexual crime. Now, the government won't ask, well, what was the reason behind that? What was the cause of that? But if we look at other countries across Europe, it's very clear what that cause was. It was uncapped, unvetted immigration of young males into society. Not only that, but it put out a signal to the rest of the women in the country that Ireland was less safe. Now, I see that RTE presenter Catherine Thomas now says that she refuses to go out jogging in the early morning and late evening when it's dark because out of fear, out of fear that she would be the next um, Ashley Murphy. Just shouting on the street isn't enough. We must send a political message to the politicians of Ireland that a uncapped, unvetted immigration into Ireland is completely unacceptable. It's unsafe. The, the way to send a signal to these people is to vote for the Irish Freedom Party. I ask you to come join those rallies today across across Dublin. Most of them are, if not all, are at five o'clock. Uh, participate peacefully. Uh, eventually, uh, I think the better mode is to not to be going to these uh, plantation centres, but to the where it all begins, which is Dáil Éireann. Uh, because it is the politicians of our country who decide the policy and it, it is the politicians who must be made to feel the heat. And if you want a kinder, gentler and safer Ireland, come attend those rallies in Dublin today. Uh, please donate, uh, support, even join the Irish Freedom Party. Tell your family and friends, uncapped, unvetted immigration is very dangerous for our country. Not only does it cost a huge amount of money, not only does it pump up house prices, not only does it make it more difficult to get a hospital bed, not only does it make it more difficult for your child to get a place in school, it also makes Ireland a more dangerous place to live in, uh, especially more dangerous for young women and children. If you want Ireland to be a kinder, gentler and safer place for yourself and your children, vote for the Irish Freedom Party. Make politicians aware that you've had enough of free-for-all in immigration. You've had enough of bogus asylum seekers, as Michael McDowell, the former Justice Minister, said a number of years ago, tired of the cock and bull stories of these guys coming in, chancing their arm, lying through their teeth. They're basically asylum tourists, and uh, we don't need them. We don't want them. Shouldn't be here. And those who came here illegally should be deported immediately. It would make Ireland a much safer place and it would cost the taxpayer a lot less money and all these bogus claims and legal challenges, etc. Et My name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party.
Go to Magadzai.